Okay, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, hi, here it is. See? <laughs> All right, so hi. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Journey, and this is my channel where I like to talk about rent Eurydice, I swear to God. You wanna sit down? Yeah? Alright. So, I wanna talk about Valentine's Day and about self-love, because I have been single for- Actually, let me give you a little bit of a rundown. So, if you don't know who I am, if you don't know my story, um, long story short, I was in a- long-term relationship for seven years so i got into the relationship when i was 13 years old and i got out of the relationship when i was 20 about to be 21 years old which was um last january so i have been single for about a year and this has been the first time that i've been single you're gonna see and this has been the first time that I've been single since I was 13 years old. So from the year, like my whole 21st year of life is pretty much the only time that I've been single since I started dating. And it's been, it's been a journey. It's been a journey of self-reflection, of finding love in myself. You're to see, can you please get away from the microphone? Bro, what are you doing? Please just, just stop. I'm just like trying to accept the parts of me that he wouldn't except from me um like one of those parts being my sexuality i am bisexual and like he would not accept that he made me feel like it's a part of myself that i should be ashamed of and for a while i i was ashamed of it and i'm not happy to admit that i don't like that a person outside of myself you know had any impact on the way that i view a part of my identity um it was a very low point in my life just the whole relationship it was very toxic i made a whole video about it if you want to check that out that'd be lovely but if not just long story short very toxic relationship very long relationship and it has warped my perception of what love is what love can be what love should be and i've spent the past year of my life just trying to unlearn a lot of those traumas that were put on me by him by myself by like viewing like unhealthy relationships like from my peers or you know adults in my life at that point just i didn't have a healthy view of like what love is and now i think i have a better understanding of like what i need from love in all areas so platonically from family members romantically i now know what i am willing to accept and what i'm not willing to accept i know what behaviors and like what actions make me feel the most loved um i have spent a lot of time thinking about thank you here to see i've spent a lot of time thinking about like what i want from a partner and i think i have it like pretty narrowed down like i made a list at the beginning of last year so like right after i like broke up with my ex-boyfriend for good i made a list of like all the attributes all the traits that i wanted from like my perfect partner and a lot of them you know looking back on it they were very shallow a lot of them had to do with like physical appearance you know like what they could bring to the table but not necessarily things that were like in relation to their personality and i think that was mostly just because i didn't want to be alone and i just like thought of like oh like what would the perfect like man for me be what would the perfect partner look like and like i had this fantasy in my head i started talking to someone new um i actually spent last valentine's day with that person um it didn't last very long after that you know it was fun it was cute but um, after that, I had a chance to do some real deep reflecting because I got with that person like literally like right after I broke up with my long-term uh, boyfriend. And so now at this point, it is uh, the end of February, the beginning of March, and I am able to really think about like my relationship that I had with my ex, what went wrong, what I felt was right, and just why I stayed in a situation that was so unhealthy for so long. Like understanding like parts of myself that I repressed because I was trying to make him happy and just spending a lot of time focusing on like my goals. At that point, 
I was about 25 to 30 pounds heavier than I am now. I really wanted to lose weight. I was in my final semester of undergrad. I was ready to graduate college. Uh, I was worried about finding a job, about moving out. I just had a lot of stuff that I needed to figure out in 2021. And being without this person that I was with for so long, I feel like it really allowed me to do that. It allowed me to be, you know, the best version of myself. I believe that this is the best version of myself that I've ever been. And it's because I love myself and it's because I'm surrounded by people that genuinely love me and aren't looking to take anything from me. They're not just with me. They're not just friends with me. They're not just dating me because they want something that I can give them. They simply like me for me. And it's a very, it's a very nice feeling. It's very, you know, I can't think of the word right now, but it's, it's very good. It feels very nice to not have to worry about like someone taking something from you, someone not appreciating all the hard work that you put into trying to keep the relationship healthy, just all the things that you do for them, big or small. It's nice to not feel like you're being taken for granted like every second of the day, which is how I felt for probably the last the last three or four years of that relationship i just felt like i was being taken for granted the whole time and now like i have a very small circle but it's a circle that is filled with so much love and it's absolutely amazing this is so cute i love her with my whole heart this is eurydice oh my god i got her me and my roommate got her in like november along with her sister Belle. Belle's outside the door but i'm not gonna go get her but i love this whole cat with my whole heart she's everything we are like twins um that's neither here nor there but like now eurydice is a part of my circle and i feel like eurydice she does love me for what i can provide for her but i like to think that we have a bond but anyways like just having this journey of self-reflection and just like finding self-love when i've been so hyper fixated on romantic love for the last like seven years of my life you already see please 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 like for the last few years you have to go back Mm -mm. like for the last few years of my life um just really focusing on myself has it's been so weird i have so much free time that like i'm not using to like worry about how another person is feeling and for a while i didn't know what to do with it eventually like i just started like pouring into myself like finding out new things that i like to do new interests that i have because this is the first time i've ever actually had to like think about me like last summer was the prime i was in my absolute prime i didn't have school to worry about um i wasn't looking for a job i didn't have any bills to pay because I was still living with my mom and it was absolutely amazing I was able to meditate daily I was able to do all the things that I ever wanted to do learn about things that I actually cared about it was a beautiful time and it was really when I felt the happiest and the most fulfilled and I really want to get back to that in uh, maybe the summer I can do that um this is not very cohesive I did not write anything down but yeah, did you just want me to move that? You just, you could have just said that. Anyways, so yeah. And like the ways that I've been like trying to like show myself more love. And the point of this video is for me to talk about how romantic love is not the only love that matters. And I made a video similar to this last Valentine's Day. It was like POV, you're seeing all Valentine's Day. And I haven't watched it since I posted it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm just talking about like the importance of self-love and like being by yourself and just making sure that you're taking care of you and that you're not super reliant on other people. And I just wanted to like dive more into that, like that topic this Valentine's Day because like although I was single last Valentine's Day I did spend it with someone and I did think about romantic love a lot but this Valentine's Day I am off my job I am completely single I'm not 
messing with anybody at this point and i kind of want to keep it that way because if someone is not willing to come into my life and give me all the things that i can give me then there's simply no point in me wasting my time you know what i mean and so i'm no longer begging i'm no longer taking breadcrumbs and acting grateful for it if you don't come fully healed if you don't come applying pressure if you cannot benefit me in some way that i find to be enriching i'd rather not waste my time i'd, I'd rather not waste your time because i know it's not going to go anywhere and i don't know it's like i have bigger things to worry about other than finding love and this is pretty much like the first point in my life where this is one of the lowest priorities on my list and it's very weird because I feel like this has become a part of my identity in a way and when you like remove a part of your identity you go through like an identity crisis like you don't really like know who you are because such a core part of who you thought you were is no longer there and so sometimes you don't feel like yourself and um this is kind of sad but sometimes like when i'm not like entertaining somebody like i don't feel like myself because i always have like ho stories to tell like for lack of a better term i'm always messing with somebody and like now i like cut off like the last person that i was messing with and i mean i should have done that because he was honestly not that great but now i'm just like out here vibing and it's it's weird because i've never been at a point like ever since i started dating where i am completely alone either i was with my long-term boyfriend we were like on a break but we were still like talking to one another or i was missing with a new person like, i've never been alone and i've been alone like this past year but i was still like you know having fun or whatever but now i'm truly truly alone and i'm not really looking to change that and i just feel like on valentine's day this year like, i can really like use that day to just pour into myself like i plan on like going to this coffee shop that's in my area i plan on indulging in so much self-care and just doing everything that i want to do for myself like i never deny, deny myself anything but valentine's day i'm really going to indulge in it because i deserve all the good things in life and you deserve all the good things in life too anyways uh i want to talk about i haven't taken one sip of this wine the whole time like i know i brought up in the other video like just this this pedestal that society puts romantic love on like we forget about all the other ways that love can be fulfilling when it's not from a romantic partner it's just like i know this consciously but still subconsciously i'm like oh my god like, i'm not with a person that means i'm worthless that means like i'm not good enough it means it has something to do with my self-worth and like it shouldn't like simply because i'm not dating anybody does not make me less worthy of love does not make me a lesser of a human of a being of whatever because someone is not currently romantically interested in me like it's, it's absolutely stupid like I don't know the fact that we base our worth on like other people's perception of us is truly baffling because like why does it matter what anyone else thinks of me like if i like myself i'm out here vibing that's all that really matters to me at this point point. and it's taken me a while to get here it really has like just building up my self-esteem and just really taking time to sit with the parts of me that i actively disliked for such a long time and either learning to embrace them or actually like putting in the work to change them has really made me appreciate myself way more than i ever have before and the person like the version of myself that i am today would not have put up with the things that journey from 2020 put up with she would never at the first sign of this nigga acting up i will be out the door at this point like when i tell like my stories to like friends of mine like, they i think it's funny because i cannot believe that i put up with the bullshit for so long and it's like he knows that we've had a conversation about this before like he knows he did me wrong he knows he did me completely dirty and that he did not deserve all the love that i gave him and he didn't 
it's truly baffling but it's good to know that i have grown from that 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 is no longer the person that i am i'm so glad that she is not me anymore I appreciate her. I respect her. I feel bad for her. She was a broken little soul. But we're better now. I don't like to say that people that don't already love themselves shouldn't be in a relationship. Because like who am I to tell you like what to do with your life? But I think for me, at that point like I learned or like I realized about myself um, last year. That I did not need to be with anybody until I loved myself fully and wholeheartedly. Because the way that I view myself is going to de- it's going to determine how my partner treats me. Like how I view myself, they are going to reflect that onto me. And so I'm not saying that what I went through was my fault. Of course not. I'm not saying that if you are in a relationship where it is less than perfect, that it is your fault. But I am saying that like because of the way that I viewed myself, because I didn't view myself as highly as I should have, I put up with a lot of things that I would not put up with now because I I have too much self-respect. I think of myself too highly to let someone treat me like that and like it's it's been showing in the way that I move now like with the people that I mess with either seriously or just casually you will come to me with a base level of respect or I will not engage with you and I feel like it's really shown the growth because journey 2020 she would have put up with a lot of crap and now I'm not gonna do that because I love myself too much I have too much self-respect like, what's that Tyler the Creator line? I wash my hand, like, too much self-respect. I wash my hands before I piss. Like, yes, as you should. You should respect yourself more than anybody else in this world. And you should not tolerate less than what you think you deserve. And you should think that you deserve the world. Because you do. And I deserve the fucking world. I deserve the world. And I'm not gonna let you treat me as if I don't deserve the world. So the next nigga, the next bitch that tries to come into my life, either come correct or don't come at all. And like, I'm really respectful when I dismiss people. But I'm gonna let you know that you're not gonna treat me any kind of way before I cut ties with you. That's just me. But like I said, I really think that you should love yourself and have a certain level of self-respect before you try to intertwine yourself with another person like you need to know what you like you need to know your needs you need to do some time to self-reflect like before you date someone seriously because if you don't know you you can't show that person how to love you you can't like verbalize the things that bother you. you can't verbalize your needs your wants your desires because you haven't taken time to understand or to know like what you truly want i think a lot of us like go into relationships thinking we want a certain thing because of what others have told us that we should want what society has told us that we should want and it's just like like take some time to learn you to learn what you really like to learn what you need in order to feel love because there are some things that like my best friend needs in order to feel love that i do not need there are some things that i need like my best friend thinks is absolutely ridiculous and it's because we're two different people and we both taken the time to learn ourselves and to learn what we need from romantic partners friend friendships whatever you whatever you want to receive love from whoever you want to receive love from and i think that my interactions with people have improved because i know what i want and it's Life becomes a whole lot easier when you truly love yourself for who you are. Like, not because like, you had to change yourself into a person that you, like, wanted to be or a person that you love. But when you just learn, like, the things that make you you and you accept them fully and wholeheartedly without any judgment, it really opens up a whole new world in your life. It's honestly been amazing. Like, this last year has been really, really good for me. And I think it all stems from me finally taking the time to love and appreciate and most of all respect myself i've been disrespecting myself for such a long time i've always loved me i always thought i was great but i wasn't treating myself with the respect that i deserved and in turn because i wasn't respecting myself other people in my life weren't respecting me 
and now that I respect myself a lot, there is nobody in my life that does not respect me. And if there is someone that actively disrespects me, I quickly dismiss them because you're not going to disrupt my peace. You're not going to do that. I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry about it. You're just not going to disrupt my peace. The last thing I want to do is like talk about these cards. Like I've been using them. This, okay. So this is from the game. We're not really strangers. I have that game. It's on my desk, not my desk, on my bookshelf, but I can't get it right now. I absolutely adore that game. I ran out of paper. And now, like, when I play it again, I don't know how I'm going to do the writing props. Because I don't carry around paper. But anyways, so I got my first expansion pack. And it is the self-love edition. It's pink. Um, I think this is perfect for Valentine's Day. So, like, I'm going to probably post this on Valentine's Day. But, you know, if you do, like, want to use this for, like, journal prompts. Or if you just, like, want to use it just do like some self-reflecting or you can like play with another person who's also on a self-love journey i think that's what the description said you should definitely get the expansion pack it's from we're not really strangers i'll probably put the website in like uh the description box but i've been using this i like i probably like do about like seven or eight cards like every couple days to just use as journal prompts because journaling has really been effective for me it's really been helpful and i'm just gonna like do a couple of these like on camera and yeah, so like the cards, they're just pink and they like come like with questions. So the first one is, what feedback forced me to grow recently, even if it was hard for me to hear in the moment? Hmm. I don't know. I think probably, probably when uh, my, my new friend, Sydney, and she told me just like all the self-deprecating jokes that I do like isn't really a good look and it's not very helpful she told me about that and it took me a while to like really like, understand what she was talking about but like there is power in the tone and I've tried to reduce the amount of self-deprecating jokes that I make oh bye you're to see the type of self-deprecating jokes that I make and now I I like myself a little bit more than I did before she verbalize that to me so i'm gonna say that even though that's probably not a uh, criticism in the way that they meant it next one is there anything i've been beating myself up about what does having empathy for myself look like in this situation mm -hmm. i think i've been beating myself up about being sad about the last failed connection that i had i like i don't know i've been telling myself that it's stupid that i've been like kind of bummed about it because like it wasn't that long i didn't know for that long i knew for maybe like a month tops but like i did like him a lot and i thought that it could have been something and now it looks like it's not gonna be anything and I know that I keep telling myself that I shouldn't feel bad or I f shouldn't feel sad about it because I didn't really know him. But, like, I did care about him as much as I could for someone that you know for a month. And I've been telling myself that it's stupid that I'm sad, but it's okay that I'm sad. Like, it was something that could have been promising. It was exciting for me. And now that it's over, and I, I should be able to grieve that. Wild card. Write out an affirmation you need to hear most in this current moment. Repeat it every day this week. Um, things will happen when they need to. Things will happen when they're meant to happen. And you won't have to force it. So I think the affirmation would be, you don't have to force the things that are meant for you. Everything that is meant for you will find you. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. What do I wish someone would say to me in this current moment? Give yourself the validation that I just... that I'm proud of you, that I'm proud of myself. I think that is something that I want to hear. That I am. That I am proud of myself. That's what I want to hear. 
I'm proud of you, Journey. What boundary would benefit me the most to set with myself? Why haven't I set it yet? What boundary would benefit me the most to set with myself? Um, set with myself? I guess not allowing people that I know aren't good for me to still have access to my energy. Like standing firm and only like allowing people that I trust to have access to me. Because I often allow myself or I often like let other people like talk to me, interact with me, like be intimate with me when I know that our energies are not aligned. I feel like I should stop that. And I have started to stop that. But I feel like that is a boundary that I definitely need to set with myself. How do I want to be loved by somebody else? Describe in detail. Do you love yourself in this way? Answer honestly. I feel like this is a good one to end off the video. How do I want to be loved by someone else? Describe in detail. Do you love yourself in this way? Answer honestly. Um, I think about this a lot, so it might be a little rambly, but I think I want to be no, I know that I want to be loved by someone else purely and wholeheartedly. I want them to not love me unconditionally, but to love me authentically with their whole heart. Um, someone that sees all parts of me and is actively excited to embrace them not just the parts of me that they find like attractive or interesting like all parts of me and they're willing to accept that not only accept it but embrace it and to love me wholeheartedly to love me as a whole person not just like bits and pieces of me i feel like in the past people have said that they liked me because they liked the idea of what i was and not who i actually am um i want to be loved for my authentic self not a curated version of me that i have like taken on so that you will accept me just someone that i can be my entire self with without a second thought without a worry that they're going to see me any differently without a, a a worry that like i'm going to do something weird and they're going to find me odd and they're not going to want to be with me anymore they're not going to like want to talk to me or interact with me or whatever um i want someone that will like go above and beyond to make sure that i'm happy because i would do the same thing for the person that i loved um i do the same thing for people that i do love like i know like i was telling someone like i want someone that'll write me like love letters i want someone that's going to you know hit me up in the middle of the day saying that they're thinking about me like send me pictures of something that they know that i like or something that they thought was pretty or something that that they wanted to get me and just like say that they're thinking about me someone that will plan things for me without me having to like hint at it constantly or like verbally like just like outright stating it um i just want someone that will want to do things for me simply because they want to see me happy i want someone who is gentle with me i want someone who is understanding who is empathetic who is kind i want someone that i feel safe with i want someone who like it makes me makes me feel like calm i want someone i want a comfortable love i want a gentle love i want a love that feels like home i want someone who's just so genuine in their in their kindness someone who handles me with such great care because they want me around forever i want someone who notices the little things about me 
and just finds them to be so intriguing, to be so enchanting. I want someone that will like write me poems. I want someone that will like paint a portrait of me. I want someone who will pray about me for lack of a better term. I just want someone who is completely enthralled with all aspects of myself, like all aspects of me, like they are just enamored by it. They find it so fascinating. I want a love that is all consuming. I just want, I want the kind of love that like people write songs about. I want the kind of love that people write about in books, like you see in like really good like romance movies. Like, not that, like, cheesy shit. Like, I don't want anything that's, that's, that's just not wrapped in love. Like, I don't want anything that's draining because I had so much of that in, like, previous relationships. I just want someone that I feel connected to. I don't know. Like, it's not about, like, physical attributes it's not about like necessarily what a person can give to me in the way of like material things but just like the way that the person makes me feel like i just want to feel a love that's like home i want to feel safe with a person like even if we are like having a disagreement or like we're not seeing eye to eye i never want to feel like i can't trust that person i never want to feel like i can't go to that person even if i know they won't necessarily agree with like my viewpoint like what i'm saying i want someone that i feel completely safe with at all times because i've never had that i never felt completely safe with a person at least not for very long it's like I always like had to walk on eggshells in some in some type of way. I always had to hide parts of myself. I always like I I could never be completely vulnerable. I couldn't be my authentic self, not without fear. And I just want someone that I can be myself with, and I'm not even thinking about how they might be perceiving me at that moment because I already know that they love me and that they see me for who I am and that they wouldn't want to change it for anything that's that's the kind of love that I want and I'm determined that I'm going to get it I'm not going to settle for less and yeah I just I love myself too much to accept a love that is less than that because I deserve it because I could give that I am willing I have given that type of love to other people and I deserve to get that same love that same energy in return and I will not settle for anything less than that point blank period um I think that's the end of my little self love valentine's day edition talk um at the end of the day i'm still on my self-love journey there are still things that i have to work on in terms of respecting myself in terms of loving myself in the way that i deserve self-love is a journey it is not linear sometimes days are better than others sometimes i'm like on a high sometimes i go and i fall back into old patterns that are slightly self-destructive but i know at the end of the day i am leaps and bounds better than i was this time last year and i'm so happy about it and on the day that is supposed to be used <clears throat> to celebrate romantic love i'm going to use it to celebrate self-love because self-love is the best love and I feel like that is the only way that I'm ever going to get the romantic love that I want. I have to completely, authentically, and wholly love myself before another person is going to give that to me. And I'm willing to work on that. 
and I am working on that every single day with the help of our good friends at We're Not Really Strangers. Yeah. So, thank you so much for listening to me ramble about self-love. Um, I hope that editing me can make this a little bit more coherent because I've been talking for like 41 minutes and I don't really know what I said. Alright, um, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!